Hello, my name is Ken Tora Zickler, and I'm just going to give you this nice little tutorial on how to encrypt files on the Mac quickly and easily for sending it, sending them around the web or uh, just for storing on your computer, um, however you wish. This uh, tutorial is brought to you by my website, tz42.com, and my blog. Make sure to check it out for other Mac tips, hints, and other fun things. I'm going to be doing some website reviews and things like that in the future as well. Anyway, um, so let's get started here. Uh, let's say I've got a file here, uh, subway map, which is of course the uh, MTA New York City subway map uh, in PDF form. And I want to uh, take that, <clears throat> that map and I want to encrypt it so that nobody can, can look at it other than myself or other people that I want to, uh, to see it. Uh, now, okay. And I want to be able to add other files to that encrypted uh, encrypted image. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with, uh, I'm going to go into my hard drive here. Let's go to Applications. And into your Applications, one thing that every Mac has under Utilities is Disk Utility. Now, in Disk Utility, open that up here. And what we want to do is we want to create an encrypted disk image. And it will act just sort of like a, uh, a flash drive or something like that, but it will contain that drive within a single file, which will be encrypted. So I'm going to say new image here. I'm going to save it on the desktop. We're going to call it encrypted image. And now the volume name, the name of, uh, the, name of the actual disk as it gets mounted is called disk image right now. We'll call that... Uh, secure. Okay, now one of the things you can do here is uh, you can select your image format should be a sparse disk image. A sparse disk image is uh, can be resized as it grows so if you add more files to it then the outside size of the image actually increases over time uh, rather than initially if you save this right now as a uh, sorry, as a just a read-write disk image, then it would be however big you set your volume size to be. But since it's since you've got it set to a sparse disk image, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can set this as high as you want the maximum size to be. So I'm going to set it at 4.7 gigs, which is um, which is the size of a DVD-R, and it can uh, that way. It's, uh, you could, once it's full, you could burn it to a DVD still. Uh, make sure the encryption is now, I'm going to set encryption to 256-bit AES encryption, which is really secure. And that's going to make sure that nobody can, uh, nobody can get into it that I don't want to. So, it's going to save on the desktop. Now I'm going to hit create. Now, it's going to create that image, and the first thing it's going to do is it's going to ask me for a password. Now, the password that I'm just going to use just because you know, just for simplicity's sake right now, is password. Now it says that it's a very weak password. You don't want to use password as your as your password. You want to find something very secure that nobody's going to know except for you, or if you want to give that password to somebody else, then um, you can transmit the this image over an email or some other type of communication and be able to get to it. Now, I do not want to remember that password in my keychain because otherwise it will automatically open up without having to put in the password. <laughs> um, you want it to make it as hard as you can for people to get into this uh, who do have access to your computer. So, let me say OK. And it's now currently creating and formatting that image down there on the bottom and now it's attaching the image to the computer. So, if you see over here on the right, we've got my hard drive right there. We've got the encrypted sparse image, and we now have mounted that drive. Now, let me close disk utility. We don't need that anymore. And I can close that just for right now. Okay, so, if I look inside of secure here, it's currently empty, and there's 4.3 gigs available space. So, let me put this on in that... Uh, in that disk. I'm going to copy subway map onto that disk and now I'm going to throw away the subway map that's not in the disk, the one that's actually out on my desktop. Now the trick here when emptying that trash there is I gotta make sure that I don't 
let anybody else find that even if it uh, if it's somewhere else on the disk so I'm gonna say secure empty trash and yes I do want to erase securely erase the uh, items in the trash so I say okay and it will now it now erases it, it says emptying the trash and there we go now that it's uh, erased off of the actual hard drive uh, securely, which means it writes zeros over it, so it cannot be re recovered with a, uh, with an unerased program. Um, it's completely gone, but it's still here on my secure disk image. Now I can open that right up, and I can use it just like I was using it before. I can save as many items into there as I want to. Now, as soon as I'm no longer using the computer or I want to send that image somewhere, I just click the little eject button right here. Um, actually, you know what I need to do first? Let me quit out of preview, because that was opening the, that image, so let me just click on the eject button here, and as you can see, it went away. It's no longer over here. Now, if I want to get it back, I double click on the encrypted image, sparse image, and it asks me for the password again. So at this point, if I don't enter that password, I can't get at those files. But I enter my password, and there we go, it shows back up again. And I can get at it, I can get at my files on it, I can do whatever I want to. I can also eject it by dragging that mounted disk image down to the trash, which will eject it as well, just leaving this. Now this image right here is currently only 32 megabytes on that disk. If I put more items onto that disk or if I change the items in it that uh, disk will continue to grow um, let me just make some copies of this so it just made a couple copies and made it a little bit bigger and uh, these are each how big are these? Well, less than a megabyte, they might not notice much of a difference but um, at any rate, at any rate um, it will continue to grow and the size of this file will get bigger over time as you put more and more things into it. So you can take that and you can send that somewhere, you can transfer that to somebody however you want to and you don't have to worry about anybody getting into it except for somebody who knows the uh, knows the password. So it's really simple and it's built right into the Mac OS. There is no need to buy anything extra to get it to do that and it functions just like any other disk when it's in there so anyway I hope you enjoyed this and hopefully uh, hopefully you will check back at tz42.com slash blog for the blog and if there's any other neat little tips or tricks that you have that you want to send me you can send them to me at ken at tz42.com if you have any other trips, uh, tips or tricks that you'd like to share just send them my way and we'll talk to you next time